Hello friends, welcome back. This is Pandeep from QA Cubicle. Today's topic is related with the XPath itself. In today's session, we will see how to write the customized XPath in the Selenium WebDriver. It is very important to write the good XPath because if you are not comfortable to write the good XPath, you will end up writing the long XPath which are not required at all and your XPath are not generic or the customized. In case the development team make any minor changes in the HTML DOM structure, so your XPath will be no longer valid. And if you execute your script, in that case your test case will be fail, and you will spend a lot of time in debugging and uh, fixing issues that are related with the XPath. Okay, so that's a couple of reasons that you should be very good in writing customized XPath. So let's see what are the different way to write the customized XPath. Okay, these are the different customized XPath generation technique. Okay, so I will show you these one by one. Okay, so let's create one class as the XPath demo two. Select this public state requirement from here and uh, let's use the code to launch the Chrome browser and open the URL. So I will use this code. Okay. This is the website I am using for the today's demo. So I will simply copy the URL and uh, use along with the get method to launch this URL. Okay. So let's see what is the first technique. So this is the very basic technique which we have uh, seen a couple of times. So you can see like the description says the same thing like this is a common approach for finding the X path with help of tag and the attribute value. And here is the syntax for the same in the double forward slash. After that we need to provide the tag name. And inside the square bracket we need to use the at the rate attribute and its value. Let's try to find out the X path for the search store. Okay. So let me inspect it. So you can see like limits is getting highlighted here. And if I use the basic technique to create the XPath, so what will be that? Okay, so you can see like the starting tag is the input here. So I will simply write the input. And after that, we can use this name attribute here. Okay, so I will write the at the rate name equals to Q. So you can see the element is getting identified successfully. Okay, so let's see what is the second point here. So second point says like we can exclude the HTML tag and replace it with the string. What we need to do here, we need to simply remove this input tag. Okay, and instead of that, we need to put a string here. So you can see like it is still highlighting the search store text field. Okay, so let me use this one. So we will write in this way: driver dot find element by dot text path and as it is a text field, so we can use the send keys and let's enter some value. So, like I entered the QA here. So, let's see what is the next one. So, next one is the contents. Okay, and it is used to find the value of any attributes change dynamically as well as has an ability to find the element with the parcel text. So, this is the syntax for the same. So, let's try to use this syntax and find the element with the both ways, like with the help of contents uh, attribute. As well as with the contents text. Okay, so let's find out the XPath for this search button with the help of contents method. Okay. So first what we need to do, okay, so you can see like it is highlighting the search button. We can write in the XPath for this search button in this way. We need to write the button, okay. And contents, you can see like it has one attribute and its name is the type and its value is submit. Let's use this. Okay, so I will write the contents, and after that, in the bracket, I will write the attribute that is the type. Okay, and its value is the submit. So I will write the submit in the single quotes. And let's close this bracket. Okay. okay, so you can see like it is getting highlighted. So let me use this as well. Driver dot find element by dot x bar. As it, this is the button, so we can simply perform the click operation here. Okay. 
and now let's see what is the second syntax we can use this contains method with the help of text as well so let's see how we can identify this element with the help of text function what is the text here so you can see that the text here is the search okay so let's identify this search button with the help of search text okay we need to write in this way the tag name is the button after that we need to write the contents and here we need to write the text okay and what is the text value the text value is the search here so you can write the search okay so you can see like it is started highlighting the search button so we can use this as well write the driver dot find element write dot export We can simply perform the click operation. Comment this one as of now because we are just uh, identifying the same element. So before moving to the next technique, let's execute these two statements. So what it will do? So it will basically enter the QA, QA text inside this search store text field, and after that it will click on the search button. So simply right click and run as Java application. Okay, so you can see like the Chrome browser has been launched. It has entered the QA here and uh, clicked on the search button. But you can see, like, it is giving some error here, like, search term minimum length is three characters. Okay, so that means these two objects identified successfully. Okay, and our code is working. So let's comment these two as of now and move to the next one. The next one is like using or and and. So these logical expressions are used on the attribute conditions. Okay, and in case of or, any of the conditions should be true or both. In case of and, both the conditions should be fulfilled. So let's use this technique to identify first name text field. So what I will do, I will simply right click and inspect. Okay, the starting tag is the input, and after that it has a couple of attributes like the ID and the name. Okay, so let's try to utilize these two. We can write the path in this way. We need to write the input. Okay. And after that, let's utilize these two attributes like ID. So let's uh, write in this way like at the rate ID equals to first name. And uh, we can write or at the rate name equals to first name. Okay, so you can see like it is high started highlighting the first name text field we can use the and here as well okay so in that case and it is also highlighting the same text field so we can use any of these two so let me use the second one so here we will write the driver dot find element void dot text box with the help of send case let's enter some text inside it so let me write the db here so let's see what is the next one so the next one is the starts with. So starts with is used to find the web element whose attributes value gets changed dynamically. Okay. And in this method, the starting text of the attribute is matched to find the web element. Here you can see the syntax for the starts with technique. So it starts with the double forward slash tag name. Then we need to write the starts with, and along with that, we need to provide the attribute and its value in the square brackets okay as you can see like it can be used with the text as well so let's see how we can identify the text path with the help of starts with so let's use this technique to identify the x path for this last name text field okay inspect this web element after that we need to create the x path for the same so we can write in this way so you can see like the starting tag is the input here and it has couple of attributes like the id and the name okay so let's utilize this name attribute so i can write in this way input okay and after that starts with starts with and after that we need to write the at the rate attribute so attribute is the name Okay, and its value is last. 
Okay, so you can see like it has started highlighting the last name text field. So let me use this in my code. And write in this way like driver dot find element void dot export. Okay. And as it is text field, so we can send some text inside it. So let's if I write the Kumar here, okay. As we can use this starts with, with the text as well. So let's see to identify the login link with the help of text method. So we can provide like this starts with text. Okay, and the text is the login here. A you can see like it is starting this login link here. So we can use the same in our code. Inside the driver dot find element by dot export. Here you can, as it this is the link, so you can click on it. Basically, use the, these two techniques. And so, first is like using or and and, and second is the start with. Let's see like what is happening here. So, simply right click and add the application. Okay, so you can see like browser is getting lost. Okay, it has entered the First name and last name, and after that, it clicked on the login button. So it was a bit quick, okay. So object identification is working fine here. Okay, so let me comment out these and let's move to the next one. Okay, so next is the text method. So it is used to locate the element based on the text of a web element, and this is the syntax for the same. Here we need to write the double forward slash tag name in the square bracket, write the text function. And after that, you need to provide the text value that will be in the single quotes. So I will just mention the single quotes here. Okay, so let's find out register link with the help of this text method. So what we need to do? So simply inspect this register. Okay, so it's the starting tag is the A, and after that we can write the text. Okay, and text equals to what is the text here? The text is the register here. So can write in this way like okay. Can remove this one. Okay. Okay. So you can see like it is highlighting this register link. So we can use in our code. We can write the driver dot find element void dot x bar and simply click on that. Okay. Okay. So let's see what is the next one. So the next one is the using index. And this approach comes in use when you wish to specify a given tag name in terms of index value you wish to locate. So this is the syntax for the same. Basically, uh, we need to write in this way, like uh, we, you can write the tag name or you can skip it. Okay, it's up to you. And after that, you need to provide the add rate attribute and its value in the single quotes. Okay, and after that, you need to close these things inside the brackets. And you need to provide the index of that particular web element. Okay. Here you can see like these are two fields, the first name and the last name. The starting tag for the first name is the input. And for the type attribute, the value is the text. Okay. After that, they have some other attributes. So these two values, like the type equals to text and the type equals to text. These two values are the common for both uh, first name and the last name. Okay. So let's use the concept of index here. So what I will do here, I will write the input. Okay. At the date, type equals to text. Okay. So you can see like it has simply start highlighting all the fields who has the type attributes value as the text. Okay. So you can see like for all these four elements, the type attributes value is the text. And now say like I want to enter something in inside this last name. Okay. So what I will do, I will simply put all these things inside the bracket and I will just put the index here. So okay, so like if I do the one, then this, this search store will come. Okay, and if I just put it two here, so you can see like the first name is getting highlighted. Okay, if I will do the three, then you can see it's last name it is getting highlighted. Okay, and if I will do the code, then the company name is getting highlighted. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's uh, inside enter something inside this company name field. So 
here what I will do, I will write the driver dot find element y dot xpath. Okay. Uh, let's enter company name. Send his say like automation. Okay. Okay, let's move this statement below. Okay, so okay, so what it will do? Basically, it will enter the automation inside this uh, company name, and after that, it will click on register link. Okay, so let's execute it. Run as the Java application. Okay, so it's very quick. Okay, you can see like it has uh, entered the automation here, and after that, it moved to the again the register button. Because what is happening here? Okay, so say like if you enter anything here. Okay, and again click on the register button, register link. So basically, it comes again on the same page. Okay, okay. So you can see like Selenium is able to identify both the elements with the help of text as well as with the help of index. Okay, so guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much.